Our community report this evening, the MLK Observance Day Association hosted their annual Gospel Fest today. WSAB's Tyler Carmona attended. He joins us now to tell us about his experience. Thank you, Kaylee. It was quite the celebration taking place at Connors Temple Baptist Church here in Savannah. Qu choirs from all over the city came by to sing their hearts out in Dr. King's honor. Oh, Dr. King was a preacher. Music is a great and fantastic part of ministry. Glenda Jones helped organize this event. She says she wanted to gather the community to remember who Dr. King was and what his legacy means to everybody in Savannah. She hopes today's event helps recognize the values that Dr. King emphasized the most. What we want is peace, unity, and love. Um, when you think of gospel music, it's a resounding kind of music. It, the history of gospel music goes way back. Besides the choir from Connors Temple Church, choirs from Savannah State University and St. Paul's EME Church also performed at the festival. One churchgoer says it was a unique experience to see so many people singing and enjoying themselves. Oftentimes you don't see people singing anymore. Unless you're, going, unless you're going to church. It's just having like this event. Yes, it's at a church, but it's not a church event. And just seeing people sing and come together is amazing. Alderman Dietrich Leggett was in attendance. He says it's refreshing to see so many people celebrating such a powerful cause. To be in there, you know, you, if you didn't feel anything while you were in there, you, you, you were in the wrong place. Jones says this is an event that Dr. King would have been proud of. Dr. King would be very happy in knowing that we keep his name his legacy alive. We keep his mission alive. Although Gospel Day is an annual event, the MLK Observance Day Association says they plan on hosting several similar events throughout the year. Tyler Carmona, WSAV News 3, on your side.